Coming up next week in Singapore is the release of the movie with Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, which is the latest in the Harry Potter uh, film series. Joining us now to talk more about it and why wizarding is so popular still here in Singapore is Joe Chua, the founder of the Harry Potter community here in Singapore. Joe, welcome to the show. Hey, hi, good morning. Thank you for having me on your show. It is really an honor to be here today, this morning. <laughs> and I also greet all of you who are here with us this morning. I hope uh, I'll be able to share some insights on why, like Glenn asked, why it is so popular in Singapore, even after all these years. Well, mm. let's start with that, Joe. And for people who are watching on Facebook Live, that is some of her extensive Wizarding World, <laughs> Harry Potter collection behind her. And before we get into it, you're wearing something <laughs> green and velvety. Is, is that how? Is that Wizarding World stuff? Uh, yes, actually, this is a costume from Professor McGonagall, uh, one of the school uh -huh. teachers in Hogwarts. Yeah, unfortunately, mm. um, I think my head has grown since I design this costume so i'm unable to put on my chat and of course i don't have my wand with me i cannot do spell or i will get a letter of warning from the ministry of magic yes i'm not supposed to do it in front of muggles like you okay well joe let's get into it i mean as a, as a children's book author myself i often see even today harry potter still on the bestseller lists in bookstores around Singapore. The first book came out in 1997. It's Just hard to believe right. it was that long right. ago, right? Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, Glenn's daughter has read them all. Yeah. My daughter is currently reading them. You know, they go through generations. Just recently on HBO Max, they celebrated the 20th, the 20th anniversary right. of the first movie. Where has the time gone? Right. Tell me why. Why is it that Harry Potter, the Wizarding World phenomenon, is still so popular? I guess in a way, the story and the characters really resonates with the readers at a different stage of their life. And it is something that we can easily relate to as we experience the joy and the worries of the students throughout their life in Hogwarts and the worries and of a uh, adult like Molly Weasley who worries about how her family is very Oh, Joe, we got you jumping in and out just a little bit. You'll get through to Joe on the phone because we're having trouble. With I can hear a phone line. Joe, are you there? Oh, yes, I'm here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, we're having some bandwidth issues. Oh, uh, what went wrong? Yeah. Okay. I suppose the Marvel device doesn't work for me. <laughs> okay, we've got you on the phone. That's the most important thing. So tell us more specifically, Singapore, you set up mm. the first Harry Potter mm. fan club in Singapore. You know, how popular is it? And what, what are the sorts of things you do in your wizarding world? Well, I mean, the Facebook, uh, it's actually a community page that I set up when some sometimes around 10 years back, when the last uh, movie was at this uh, twilight so it was quite surprising to me that the number of lights has increased over the years even after the end of the movie mm. and i guess this uh, is a sign of the popularity of uh, harry potter and wizarding world in singapore currently and although we have not a lot of activities in singapore but it seems that the connection is still there and every time there are special occasions, the fans will still rise up to the challenge. Yeah, how many, Joe, how many people have joined the Facebook group? Mm, right now, we have 970 odd uh, number of people. And there are people who follow it, like about 1,000 followers. Wow. I mean, nice. a, a thousand followers yeah. for a 25 year old book. I mean, the first one came out in 1997. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. quite extraordinary, really. I mean, I mean, for the benefit of our listeners, we now have the third movie in the Fantastic Beasts franchise coming out next week. What is the difference yeah. between the original Harry Potter books and films and the Fantastic Beasts uh, films? Hmm, yes, actually a lot of the um, a lot of the elements in the new films are 
sort of I uh, had been referred to previously in the Harry Potter book. Mm -hmm. Take for example, New Scamander, the protagonist of the new film. He is actually the author of a school textbook that the students are required to read when they attend Hogwarts classes. So in a book of the same title, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, we know that Neil really loves uh, Fantastic Beasts and in all his inner travel, he will identify all these creatures and then he will put them in a book and that is how the school book came about. Yes. Also, we also know that the uh, new films for the Fantastic Beasts movie, they actually are going to plot towards the storyline whereby Albus Dumbledore will duel with uh, Galad Grindelwald. And this is one of the wizarding wars in the book that has been mentioned in Harry Potter book. Mm. We're talking with Joe Chua, the founder of the Harry Potter uh, Singapore fan club. And Joe, do you have you been able to see the movie? Do you get any perks because you're the head of the fan club? Does <laughs> Warner Brother uh, let you do his pre-screening or anything? <laughs> Well, I wish. <laughs> but in any case, nah, no worries. I mean, I'm going for the marathon this uh, Wednesday, I believe. Yes, uh, I'm going for the marathon. So I'll be one of the first to watch the movie in Singapore as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are you expecting from it, from the movie? Or what are you, ho honest, or what are you hoping for? <laughs> I'm hoping for more magical this. I think that... Um, in the past two movies, there have been very fantastic in cinematic uh, visualization and representation of the magical creatures that Newt came across and mentioned in his book. And I would love to see more of this magical beast in action. I think that would be really, really lovely. What if your I mean, just across the franchise generally, see if our listeners agree, what are your favorite characters? Because my daughter's favorite character changes on a daily, weekly basis. What are your favorite characters in the series? Hmm. I guess my favorite is Professor McGonagall. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I'm forever wearing her costume. Yeah, but I think Professor <laughs> McGonagall is a very strict um She's strict, but at least she looks after her students, and mm. she's a very rational uh, teacher, and also she has some uh, funny sides to her, which makes her uh, quite uh, approachable in a way, and she's really smart, and I love that about her. Yeah. Do you find in the in the fan group that it's it's more more men than women in the in the fan group, or do you feel like Harry Potter equally attracts women as well as mm. as men? I I don't I okay I'm just giving my personal opinion yeah sure. but when I look at all the um, you know all the live uh, screening or uh, you know telecast of the fans around the world I can see that actually there are more females than males that are engrossed in this wizarding world. So say for example, when I go to the, uni uh, the Universal Studio Wizarding World in Japan, I think the population of the females there is totally well, more than the male population. I think this is very telling. I think for girls uh, in general, we really like to have, um, we are really engrossed in this kind of fantasy and, you know, the boarding schools. These are things that we have come across in books that we have read when we were young, uh, fairies, pixie, goblins. But for boys, I wouldn't say that there are none and or there are few, but mm -hmm. there are still people out there who are who love the world and we do have a fair number of uh, male uh, Harry Potter fans in our group and yes, I think it's just pretty much there. But they have more things to occupy them. They have a lot of the rings, for example. They have Avengers. <laughs> yeah, so I guess, yeah, okay. for, for this particular one, females win the vote. <laughs> That's fantastic. My final question to you, Joe, comes in a way from my daughter because there are four Hogwarts houses, Glenn, and they have LinkedIn stories about this, right? Yeah. Because you can apply it to business. There is the House Gryffindor, hmm. tell me if I'm wrong, which is associated with bravery. There is House Ravenclaw. 
intelligence, House Hufflepuff, empathy, House Slytherin, ambition. Joe, I'm putting you on the spot. You've known Glenn and I for all of five minutes. Which house do you think Glenn and I would be suitable for? Well, I think maybe I should get the sorting hat here. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, yes. Wow, I think, okay, judging by yourself, perhaps I, perhaps your daughter might be in Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw is known for their books, uh, book smarts, their cleverness. Mm. So I think that would be a good choice. And for me personally, I am partial to Gryffindor, so perhaps I would be biased in my favor to put her in Gryffindor. Yeah, but what about Glenn and myself? <laughs> Glenn and myself. Which which houses are we in? Yeah, where are you yeah. gonna where are you gonna put well, us? Well, the child disagree, that's fine. I think the sorting hat will put your choice in consideration, and that is what happened to Harry in the first book when she got sorted. <laughs> So I think there's no no worries about that. She can be in any house that she wish to. Okay. All right. Well, Joe, thank you. We're going to have to leave it there. But uh, thanks to Joe Chua, the founder of the Harry Potter Singapore Fan Club, and uh, looking forward to all seeing the movie, which is opening in Singapore next week. It's called With Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, the latest in the Harry Potter series. Thanks again for being with us, Joe. Yes, yeah, thank you very much for having me once again. A very good day to all of you, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you. Thanks, it's Joe. the weekend. Bye. Time to play with Money FM eighty nine point three.